Hey guys, so I thought I would just do my review of the Force Awakens trailer. I already did my breakdown of it, you know, my frame by frame kind of thing. So now I thought I would do just kind of my overall thoughts and review of it. So to start things off, I really love how in this trailer and in this movie, we have a female-led character. We have Rey, who, um, let's go away. She is probably a Skywalker slash Solo, and I love how, I mean, the first 30 seconds of this trailer is focused on her. And Kathleen Kennedy was the president of Lucasfilm and said that we're going to have a lot of females in the new Star Wars universe. And I love that. I think it's great. I think it's great for diversity. And you already see Finn, who's an African-American stormtrooper. It's great. Not a clone. That They stopped making clones. And um, second thing, I mean, right, right here, this thing right here, we see that Kylo Ren is a badass that's on a mission. He tells Darth Vader's mask, which is kind of weird, that he will... Um, finish what Darth Vader started, which is really cool. I mean, he's trying to extract some kind of information that looks like doing something with Poe, um, because we see him, his mind kind of get weird, and Kylo Ren looks like the coolest character in this film, I think. I think there's a definite tie between Rey and Kylo Ren, whether they be siblings or cousins or something. And, right here, this is the, the, the Knights of Ren. Kylo Ren, we don't know anything about him, and that's great. I love it. I love everything about him. So, we also get to see Finn in a shot right here, basically, where he's not out of breath. And all the other things we've seen of him, he's basically been running like that, or just out of breath. And it's kind of funny. But, yeah, like, here we see him as an actual character, not just someone running away from something. And, I mean, even these shots right here, the aerial shots, it feels so much like Star Wars. Almost Star Wars Battlefront, too. I don't know if you guys have a chance to play that. I played 21 hours of it in two days. But, just the beta. But it feels so much like Star Wars, and it's great. I love it. Um, the care, you know, we don't have, we haven't even seen Luke yet. We've seen one shot of Leia. Um, we see Han. Han's probably going to be the main old trilogy character that the new characters connect to. Um, I think he's probably Ray's dad or Kylo Ren's dad. Um, and like I said, the effects look great, but that's not the main purpose of these movies. The effects do look great, though, and I think that's awesome. They Definitely look, definitely look better than the prequel trilogy, and they should be. They're ten years after when the prequel trilogies ended with Episode Three, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a slideshow of the trailers and behind the scenes footage, footage, and yeah, they just do look great. And like I said earlier, we still haven't seen Luke. Where is Luke? I read some of the canon stuff, and I might know where he is, but I'm not sure. So we definitely don't know where Luke is, and that's cool. Um, we might have seen one shot of him touching R2-D2. And that sounded weird, but I don't mean it to be. And we still don't know where he is, and I think he might not really be in this movie too much. And like I said, I um I love the aerial shots of you know the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters, the TIE Fighters and the Millennium Falcon. We even see an X-Wing shoot at Stormtrooper. Like, how cool is that? And... It, it just felt like right here, this shot, it feels um just not, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels amazing to watch it. It looks so real. It looks so just precise and everything. I just love all the aerial shots. It makes you feel so much like Star Wars. This shot right here definitely does too. And um, I feel like Han has really progressed in the 30 years since Return of the Jedi, I feel like we hear in episode 4 him say he doesn't believe in the Force, and now we hear him say the dark side, the Jedi, they're real. All of it. And I think he's been through a lot with it, whether it be Darth Vader basically torture him, everything. I'd really be interested to see what happened in this 30 years from Return of the Jedi to now. And it also didn't give away much. This trailer did not give away much. I mean, there are little Easter eggs. It I, looks like someone might have died in it, but that's, I don't know. And I, I really liked, I don't want a trailer to give away that much information. Well, I mean, I'm not one of those people that I want to go into a movie completely blind. Like, I like reading about it. I don't want to know, oh, this is going to be the main point of this movie, and this is going to happen, so you're not going to enjoy it as much, because you already know. And I'm great. This does not, this trailer does not have that happen. You just really get a feel of what the movie's going to be like. This shot right here, I hear Darth Vader's mask. I love too. It's in both trailers. Um, and yeah, it didn't give away that much, which is great. I know some people probably wanted it to, but we didn't get to see Luke, like I said. But that probably would have given away something. 
that JJ wants to keep from the movie. Um, it, it just did everything I wanted it to. And we also hear Masconada for the first time, who is played by um, Lupita Nyong'o. And she sounded really cool. She sounded like someone we haven't heard in the Star Wars universe before. I don't know if that makes sense, but she sounds like she's powerful, but I don't know. We couldn't really take a lot away from her voice, but she sounds like she's she's at a higher rank than Rey is, because, you know, she's like, who are you? Like, she's kind of like, why are, why are you here? And I really like that we heard her voice for the first time. It was definitely cool. Oh, we didn't see her. That's great. Um, this, this trailer didn't force anything, pun intended. It delivered on what it needed to do. It needed to get the word out of The Force Awakens, out there into the public. It sold tickets. It did everything it needed to do. It brought fan hype up to a level that I've never seen before. I'm only 17 years old. So I don't even remember seeing it episode 3 in the theaters. But it's brought the hype for this movie. This movie, I'm hearing from people that think that, that said that they hated Star Wars, that they've seen this trailer, and they say, I want to go see this. Like, it feels like Star Wars is cool now, which is great. Because I love Star Wars, and maybe I'm cool now. Um, yeah, it it just did what it needed to. This shot we saw in the trailer, too. Um, th this is the behind-the-scenes um, thing from Comic-Con. And this trailer, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I love this trailer. I think it did, like I said, it did everything it needed to do. I think we really see the directorial um, path, the directorial um, kind of... What am, I, what am I trying to say here? The way that J.J. Abrams shoots his films, this is a great example right here. Um, by the way, I think this is Finn um, with Poe. And I think that we really do see the way J.J. Abrams is going to do his films. They're different than the way George Lucas does his. Which, is that better or worse? I, I don't know. We saw George Lucas kind of screw up the prequels. But I think that the mass collectiveness around this movie. There's so many people working on it. It's not just one person. That's great. So, I just, I love this trailer. I loved the sound. The music was great. We haven't even talked about John Williams' score. He took elements from the original trilogy songs, but he kind of, he put his own spin on it. He, we heard the Force theme. We heard just the, um, kind of the Throne Room song. Not Throne Room. We heard, um, just the Star Wars theme, we heard a lot of other Star Wars songs, and they felt very good in context. It didn't feel like, oh, well, they're just trying to take these songs from the old movies and put it in because people know them. And um, that was that was really nice. No one's talked about the John Williams score, but, I mean, if there wasn't that music, we might not have felt so emotionally empowered by it. And it was great. Let me know what you guys think of this. I know you guys, anyone who's watching this, probably seen a bunch of people's reactions but I want to know what everyone thinks I want to know if you maybe you didn't like this trailer did you love it what were your favorite parts what did you maybe think could have been better could have been better um what are you looking forward to most in this movie have you guys bought I'm asking a lot of questions have you guys bought your tickets already personally I bought seven tickets for the 730 showing at my local theater Thursday the 17th at 7.30, and I got a signed seat, so I won't have to wait outside the theater at all. I got my own seats, seven seats for me and my friends. Then, actually, I purchased um, tickets the next morning after my finals are over, because I'm in high school, and then that Friday night. So, I'm set. I think I spent like 150 bucks. I've seen tickets go on sale for like a thousand bucks. I mean, come on, guys. This is Star Wars. Don't You don't need to get any di every dime out of something you can. But... Just let me know anything Star Wars related. I love talking about Star Wars. Just hit me up on, on Twitter at the Trainator. Um, I do the weekly Star Wars podcast with my friend Josh. Um, the link is in my bio on YouTube. So that's basically my reaction. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Love the trailer. Want to know what you guys think of it. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you always.